on my heart that um what's on my heart that is building on my heart is I'm thinking to myself, you know, why a lot of people are not actually striving to serve God and to be a better steward of God. And the, the the answer is, you know, is because a lot of people are not expecting. They're not living in expectancy. They're not looking forward, you know, to see heaven. And if you're living a life of expectancy, you, 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 you're looking to see, you know, heaven after you've gone from this earth. I believe that you would want to live your life according to the will of God. You would want to serve God, you know, in spirit and in truth. And, you know, we have to look forward to God. You know, God says, you know, He went to prepare a place for us, you know. He went to heaven to prepare a place for us. And in that place, there's many mansions there. Could you believe that, that God has a mansion for you and I? My God, where the streets are painted in gold, there's no pain, there's no sorrow. I mean, it's just blissful, it's just happiness, joyful all year round. Wow. Who wouldn't want to be there? And I believe that, you know, if each and every one of you just started focusing on what heaven is going to be like, and not focus on what earth is right now or whatever your living circumstances is right now but you just start focusing on what heaven is you would want to live a life pleasing God every single day so this is for everyone anyone who does not know God who does not have God as their Lord and Savior who does not have God as their personal friend I just want you to take a moment right now and just ask God to come into your heart. It is simple, you know, and the best thing about it is that you can open up your mouth and just speak to Him. Speak whatever you have in your heart. Just let Him know how you feel. You know, tell Him that you're a sinner. Tell Him that you want to come in. And I believe that when it comes from you, it means best, you know. You mean, you, you know what you mean, and, you know... You, you feel what you feel, and he feels it too. He knows, but he's just waiting for you to confess it. That's all. He's just waiting for you to confess it. So that's what I want you to do. Just take a moment right now, just right now. Take a moment and just ask God to come in and fill you. I'm just going to wait for you to do that right now. When you do it, he knows your heart. It's better heard when you say it yourself than when someone else tells you what to say. Because you know what? You know what to say. You have it in your heart. So go ahead right now. I'm going to take a moment with you. Amen. And I believe that whatever you had said to God just now, God heard it. You know, and He loves, you know, when you express yourself to Him. You know, He loves when you open up yourself to Him. And now He's just going to fill you with His love. And right now, I just want you to just say, you know, I'm a child of God. I've entered into the kingdom of heaven. The next step for you is to start reading the Bible get baptized in water baptism and get into the body of Christ surround yourself with people who know who Christ is for real and who does the will of God you know not just speak it but do it also you know they do it in their actions and I just want you guys to be encouraged you know be encouraged today God loves you he loves you he loves me and he loves you. He doesn't love me more than he loves you. He loves us the same. You know, and the way how he changed my life around, I know he can do it for you. He can. Just give him a chance. Give him a chance. And watch your life turn around. Amen? Amen. Let the church say amen. Let
where the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Ooh, God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say Let the church say amen. Amen. God bless you.